Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today I'm going to review the Best Buy exclusive 4K Steelbook of 2019's live action Aladdin. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I put out videos every single day. You can also find me over Twitter and Instagram at MovieGuy365, as well as over at the Disney Magic Hour podcast. I will go ahead and leave a link for that in the description. All right, here it is, the 2019 Best Buy exclusive 4K Steelbook of Disney's live action Aladdin. And as far as the movie goes, I enjoyed it quite a bit. I think a lot more than I was anticipating. It does have a couple issues here. I think there's a song by Jasmine that's kind of misplaced it grinds the mood the climax to the halt to a halt um also i feel that jafar was an ineffective jafar it just it, i don't know it's just something about him didn't work for me i enjoy the actor i've seen him in, in other things i just think he wasn't given the proper energy for the character but everything else i loved about the film i think it was great will smith put his own spin on the genie which was my biggest fear going into the movie I enjoy everything about it. It's actually really cool. It's it's a fun live action remake. I think uh, it takes a little bit more, you know, chances than the live action of The Lion King that was recently released. But I, I just enjoy this one so much considering that the animated film is my favorite movie in Disney Library. So, all right, let's do a quick unboxing of the Steelbook and then we're gonna come back and talk about the picture and the audio quality. Uh, as you can see here, uh, the Best Buy exclusive Steelbook here. I really like the Steelbook. This, the look at this, is just just overall nice. I was very tempted to go with the Target edition as well, but this being a heavy week for releases, double dipping wasn't really an option. So as you can see here, nice cover art here. There's a nice little embossing of the Disney logo. Looks just, you know, the Disney Aladdin logo. It just really looks nice uh, overall. And then there you go, the rear copy. I mean, I love this scene actually. And this is like, uh, just one of my issues with the film is like, they didn't spend enough time with this. Like it was just so good. They just like opened the movie and they're there. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I really like the back cover art as well on this. And of course we got some nice, uh, interior artwork, very colorful. So overall, a very nice looking uh, steelbook. I would highly recommend this one if you can get it. I know they're starting to get a little bit in short supply, so if you can, opt for the steelbook. Um, but yeah, there it is. So let's talk about the picture quality and the audio. Okay, so let's talk about the picture quality and the audio. We're getting a very nice HDR track uh, over, overlaying the 4K. It's a very nice immersive overall picture. Um, it is not, I would call reference quality, but it's a very pleasing upgrade from the Blu-ray. I, I feel that textures are a little bit more prominent, color is more natural, it has a, has a more filmic look to the overall palette of the film. Whereas I feel I actually did take a quick peek at the Blu-ray, the colors are way too light. It almost seems a little bit on the blown out side as far as characters like the genie go and some of the costuming. Just a look a little more blown out on the Blu-ray, but on here it's a nice filmic look. It really, I mean, the HDR, it helps the film along. It doesn't, it doesn't try to upstage it, if that makes any sense. It's a really nice, just overall, good looking picture quality. There's a good amount of texture. There's the HDR, while, you know, that's relegated to things like color pop out and, and blackness levels, I think serve a very, very vital function here. They look really good. It makes the film look a lot better than, frankly, than I saw it in the theater. It just, it, it's a nice color. There's so much color going around, but it has a more natural look to it. It's not just exaggerated for the sake of being exaggerated. As sometimes a you know, uh, HDR or Dolby Vision picture can sometimes do, but not often. But it, it's, it's actually, a very pleasing looking image. I enjoy it overall. I think there's a lot of um, nighttime levels or nice deep blacks and, and that kind of thing. And during the daytime, it lo everything looks really natural. It doesn't look wa washed out or anything like that. It's a it's actually a very pretty, pretty image overall. As I said, it's not quite reference quality. I think they could have upped things a little bit more. Uh, I know I just got done saying HDR can sometimes blow out a picture, but not in this case. I think it could have just used a, just like a, a notch above. Just my personal preference, but I think it's a beautiful looking picture overall. Audio wise, now this being a Disney Atmos track, that runs the risk of having kind of something very subdued and just not overall impressive. I'm happy to say it's a above average track. It's not a whole lot on the low side. Maybe I had to crank it up one decimal or two just to get like what I, what I normally set for any other studio but I think everything else here has a nice oomph to it. This is by no means is reference quality as far as audio goes, but there is a lot of immersive audio as far as that, as that uh, indicates through surround sounds. It's really actually very kind of surprising. There's some decent amount of LFE. Front channels are nice and clear. Dialogue comes through the center 
crystal clear, very e easy to understand. And it's just a good, it has a lot of, a lot of immersive as far as surround sound goes, you know, things like just, you know, magical effects in the background or when Genie's talking and it's off to the screen or something like that. And party scenes in particular, also you hear the chatter of the people. It's really actually a very decent track. But I guess we kind of we're kind of just have to accept the fact in a way that we're not, we don't really get it like you know reference quality audio from Disney. But it, I will say it's not on the low side. It's actually very decent. I think you'll be very happy with the results here. So yeah, overall the Best Buy exclusive Steelbook I feel was the way to go. But I also felt that the Target edition was very nice indeed. It's just you know with such a heavy heavy week this week. You know, my, my proclivity to buy maybe multiple copies just had to be taken down a notch. But I enjoy the Steelbook, and I am a Steelbook collector. I'm very happy with what Disney put out here. I think it's a very good 4K disc. I think you'll be very pleased with it. Let me know in the comments below if you picked it up and what you thought. And in the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I'll put out videos every single day. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 I will see you at the movies.